Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to Sean's World. See, now, tech is actually really amazing, except when it's not. And today, we're looking at one of the sneakiest things you can actually purchase for your phone, third-party chargers. Now, you may have seen these at gas stations, Five Below, bargain bins, or even just a random hotel room. We've all been there. We all tried to save a buck, and I'm going to tell you exactly why you should no longer try to save that dollar. Let's get into it. large amount of third-party chargers there might be a real charger here somewhere i don't know but fuck it why are they so bad and why can't you just save a few bucks and really what's the worst that can happen uh have you seen the galaxy note 7 lately now first things first what exactly is a third-party charger well it's basically any charger not made by the manufacturer that designed the phone so if you're rocking an iphone it's anything not apple for samsung users anything that doesn't have the iconic samsung logo now do not get me wrong, not all third party chargers are created equal, some are well made and reliable. More on that later, but a lot of them are absolute junk. And when they are really that junk, your phone's really not going to thank you for it. There is a huge amount of danger that can come just for saving a few dollars by purchasing a third party charger. You ever notice how they get hot under the sun and they just burn the hell out of you? Well there's a reason for that. They make them so cheap because the materials out of them are so cheap. They might feel premium, hey, you can make anything feel premium if you design it correctly. And they don't regulate power fairly well, which can literally lead to overheating and damaging your battery and your phone, and in some cases, even catching fire. And I'm actually not joking about that. There are a ton of cases of people purchasing third-party chargers and their phones exploding. Speaking of exploding phones, remember the Galaxy Note 7? Now, that wasn't a charger issue, but it does highlight just how dangerous faulty tech can be. Samsung actually had to recall the entire line of the Note 7 because a lot of the units caught fire. Tons and tons and tons of the phones actually exploded. Now imagine combining a phone like that with a cheap, unregulated charger. It had just been a disaster everywhere. Now look, even if your phone doesn't burst into flames, those third-party chargers can still cause long-term damage, particularly in your battery. So you see, phone batteries are actually designed to take power in a specific way, with the right amount of voltage and current. Cheap chargers often fail at this. They can either overcharge your battery or even worse, undercharging it, leading to inconsistent power delivery. This inconsistently charging wears down your battery over time, shortening its lifespan. Ever had a phone that just doesn't hold a charge anymore? That could be due to repeated use of a bad charger. So you may think you're saving money right now, but in the long run, you're actually draining your battery and your pockets. Speaking of your pocket, let's talk about hidden cost. Sure, the third party chargers was cheaper up front. Maybe it only cost you five bucks, or what about the cost you don't see? For starters, a bad charger can lead to more frequent battery replacements. So if you're unlucky, it might even damage your phone's internal components, leading to costly repairs, or even worst case scenario, you might need a whole new phone. Here's the thing, a lot of warranties don't cover certain damages when you purchase them. A lot of them don't cover third party charger. So if your phone has problems from a third party charger, they won't cover it with that warranty. Now suddenly that expensive $20 charger that Apple makes doesn't seem too expensive, does it? Now let's take it a little step further. Counterfeit chargers. Now see, these are the worst of the worst. They're designed to look exactly like the real deal, but underneath they're cutting corners left and right. We're talking about unregulated voltage, poor insulation, and sometimes even missing safety features. These knockoffs can be so convincing that you might actually think you're getting a good deal, but in reality, you're buying a potential disaster. These counterfeit chargers aren't just bad for your phone, they're bad for you. They can cause fires, they can cause electric shocks, they can, it's just, it's just not worth the risk. Just, just take it from me, just buy a fucking charger. All right, so look, how do you avoid these chargers nightmares? The first thing to look out for is the price. If it's too good to be true, it probably is. No brand name? That's another red flag. Flimsy materials? Another one. And if the product looks like it's written by a shitty graphic designer charging 20 bucks, well guess what? Skip it. Trust me, a few minutes of research can save you a lot of headaches and possibly a phone fire. Also, check out reviews. If people are complaining about the chargers failing after a few weeks or worse damaging their phones, run the other way. A reputable third-party charger will have good reviews clear branding and certifications like UL or CE. Another thing to consider is fast charging. We all love it. Being able to juice up our phones in half the time is a game changer. But when you are combining fast charging with a sketchy third party charger, you're just asking for trouble. Fast charging requires precise power delivery. And if a charger can't handle that, 
it could possibly overheat. Now, even if the charger says it supports fast charging, make sure it's from a reputable brand and not some shitty shit you find at Gecko. Now look, I'm not saying all third-party chargers are bad. No, none at all. I actually have a few third-party chargers, but I have ones that are reputable and are a household name. Here are some of the good ones. You have brands like Anchor, Erky, and Belkin. These companies have built their reputations on making reliable, safe charging accessories. They go through religious testing and they often get certifications from the original phone manufacturer. So if you're going through a third party, stick with the brands that have proven themselves. Now see, these chargers might cost a little bit more than the bargain bin, but it's actually worth the price because they're still a little bit cheaper than the original phone chargers that you would get from the phone manufacturer. But more importantly, it's about safety. Just make sure they're certified and have good reviews on them. So what's the final takeaway here? When it comes to phone chargers, you really do get what you pay for. Saving a few bucks might save you in the long run, and it might seem like a smart move, but in the long run, it's gonna bite you in the ass, and the long-term consequences are really gonna hurt you, from damaged phones, or in worst case scenarios, even a safety hazard. Your phone is an expensive investment. The charger you use for it reflects that. Whether you stick with the original manufacturer's chargers or even go through a rapid third-party charger, just make sure to stay away from the cheap ones, the no-name ones, the no-description ones, the no-review ones, and especially the ones that are flooding the markets that are actually more expensive than the original brand. Trust me, your phone and your wallet will thank you later. So what do you think about third-party chargers? Leave them down in the comments below. But until next time, catch you on the next one.